so here in our website right now we are having all the feature block so if i go to one of the single blog post here i can see that uh, the page is not there yet so we need to actually create those pages and we will not create those pages from the pages folder that we have and here as you can see that uh, we have the pages folder inside that uh, we have right now our home page and the 404 page so for our single blog post we will not actually create those pages like the way we did so we will create those single blog post page um, programmatically so how we can do that so in our web folder let's create a new file with the name of gatsby node.js so gatsby node dot js so this is a special folder from where you can actually do some operation so here exports so we need to exports create pages so here we need to export this and this is a async function where we have um, prop inside the prop we have access to our graphql and also we have access to the actions so i will show you how we will use those so now inside that we can actually use the graphql query and based on our graphql query we can uh, create some action we can do some action here so one of the action that we will do here is we will create page based on our query so for that first of all we need to query all of the blog post right so that we can create all of the blog post single page so first of all let's query all the blog post so here constant so let's name a variable result and here inside that we will await and we will do our query which will be a graphical query and uh, we need to write our query here so i will not uh, use graphical playground i will directly write the query here so all sanity block so inside the all sanity block here we need to go to our notes and inside that we have the id and the slug and from the slug we need the current so that's what we need for our um, for our sanity block right now so we need only the id and the slug so that we can create the page we do not need anything else so whenever you will actually uh, change anything inside this gatsby node.js you need to re uh, reveal the server so so for now let's actually close the server because we need to do uh, a little bit more here so once we are done with the query after that we can use those query to create the page so first thing after the query we will do is we will uh, check for the error so if we have anything results dot errors we will read through this error result dot errors and gatsby will handle it so after that we can actually uh, grab the blocks from the query so we can destructure the blocks i mean so constant blocks equals to so result dot uh, data dot all sanity block dot notes so inside these notes we will have all the blocks so from here we need to actually restructure like we did here so after that we need to go to uh, each of blocks so let's actually loop through and also create a comment here so let's say that single blocks pages so that's what we will do we will create all the single block pages so here let's say that blocks dot for each we need to um, we need to loop through each of the blocks here and for each of our blog we will do what we will do so for each of the blog we will actually create the page so now to create the pages uh, we need a create page action so we need to get the action from these actions so let's get that so constant we need to destructure that create page not pages only create page so we need to get this from the actions so that's it so now we are getting our create page action from the actions. so now we can use this to create all the block uh, single block pages so here uh, we can actually call this so create page and inside that we need to pass a object where we need to say the path so 
we need to first of all we need to uh, provide the template so that we can show the single block uh, page component so let's create the template first of all so in our source folder let's create another folder with the name of templates and inside that let's create another one with the name of single blog dot js so this will be our single block dot js and create a component here so for now i think that's fine and also let's rename this component name single blog like that and that will be fine then after that we need to import it in our node uh, gatsby node so let's do it in the top here and let's say that constant single block template equals to so we need to actually uh, get the path of this um, template so to get the path we can actually say require dot resolve so which will give us the path of any specific uh, file so here we need to um, go to our source and inside that we have the templates and inside that we have the single blog dot js and that's it and also let's have a comments so import or we can set template paths so here uh, we need to actually note that it is not actually um, importing the whole uh, component it is just uh, resolving the path so this variable will now get the path of this component only the path so now in, inside our create page we need to actually use those so first of all in our create page uh, inside this create page we have this object here we need to say that path first of all the path will be so this is the path for our single page so this will be the slug i mean so let's actually create the slug so the slug will be let's say that inside the blocks and after that we will use the slug that we will get from our query which is this one so let's use that so here we can go to javascript and say that blog dot slug dot current and that's it so it will actually create the blog in this path so after the path we need to uh, provide the component path so component so the component path for this one will be uh, this single block template so single block template something like that and after that we need to provide the context so context so the context we will provide is the id of the single blog post so we can just say it will be id and the id will be blog.id yeah that's the one so blog.id which will be this one so whenever we'll go to inside this uh, template if i go to our uh, single block template now we can actually access this context directly in from inside this um, single block.js so here inside this single block.js you can actually um, grab it so let's say that props and console dot log props so we will get the context uh, from the props so let's see so if i go to so i think we need to actually restart the server now so it will reveal everything with uh, with the pages that we want okay i think uh, we did a, uh, okay i know what we did here so so here uh, this graphql uh, this graphql query should be inside of a parenthesis so now it should be fine so graphql parenthesis start and after that um, backticks and after that we need to write our query so that was a mistake so let's see rebuild so once it is done now you can go to any of the single blog post as you can see that uh, inside the single blog post we can see it is using our uh, single block template because i can see this single block text which is coming from this div uh, single block text as you can see because uh, this is the so because this is the path that we defined uh, in our notes so as you can see that the path of this will be after the blocks after the 
blocks uh, we will have the slug so as you can see that we have the blocks and the slugs so this is the same pattern that we used whenever we, uh, we are actually getting the if i go to so if i go to our blog item where uh, i mean this blog item so here you can see that the link that we used here is it is the same pattern as you can see after the blocks after the blocks we will have the path this path is actually the slug that we uh, have for this uh, blog post so you need to actually make sure that you are actually uh, pointing to the same pattern so if now if i open my console i should see the props in the console so here in the console i can see the props which is a good sign and if i open any of them i can see all of them as you can see them i mean all of the props that we have here so the one we want is the page context as you can see that this is the page context prop that we want and if i open i can see the id so this is the id that we passed from our gatsby node so as you can see that this is the id that we passed from our gatsby node so that's the page context will be passed in any of the single blog post page so now we can use this id to query the whole blog post and after that we can show it and also if you go to any of the route that is not um here yet so you will see so you will see a list of all pages that uh, we have in this project so if you notice here you can see we have pages for all of our blog posts here you can see so th these all pages are created automatically from this gatsby node file so this page are all for our single blog post so as you can see that from the uh, path you can tell it so yeah i mean all the pages are created successfully after that we need to actually uh, modify our template so that we can show the single blog post